Hello and welcome to the Arcade Saga. My name is Ilkion Wiersma, also known as uh, EJ. And today I have another uh, sort of request a video, just like uh, last Sunday, where we had a look at the beautiful Dendrobium Chrysanthemum. Well, this uh, in this video I will do an update on all my Tulumnias. So we will have a close uh, look at all of them one by one. And But before I'm going to do that, I wanted to mention that this request comes from Linda3808. So thank you so much, uh, Linda, for uh, reminding me of making this video. It was on my list. I like to do uh, here and there a video on all the types of orchids that I have. I already did a few of them. But uh, yeah, I didn't do the Tlomni as uh, yet. So uh, that is uh, today's uh, video. Like I said, I'm going to do, give a close up. And I had a few in bloom, so I will uh, here and there put a picture uh, of the blooms in. Because currently they are not blooming uh, uh, yet. So I'm going to grab the camera and uh, let's, uh, let's make this video. So yeah, before we go into it completely, just a quick update. This is about south facing and then we go over to uh, west facing. So I have my vendors here as you can see, my Cattleya types. Those types need a lot of light and the Tulumnias do enjoy some light as well, but a little less. So that's why I have them here uh, on the wall, as you can see. So they do get quite some light, but not as much. I had them um, last year, uh, uh, I think over here, and they really started to uh, get purple, especially in summer. So I did move them back on the wall and I really enjoy the look of it. These are really beautiful, fairly tiny orchids. And uh, yeah, I think it's very nice to have them in one row like this. And I could have even a few more, but who knows, who knows. Uh, I now currently have three, six, seven. So seven of those uh, beauties. Anyhow, let's start with the first one. And the first one is actually one that is not really doing that well, as you can see. But on the left and on the right, as you also can see, it has new growth. So it's doing its best, and this is, this is the Tolumnia Jarek Hot Pink, which I never had in bloom. It's a fairly young plant, and I think it's doing okay, but it's slowly but surely growing. And you also already saw, I think, that I have these guys in a terracotta pot. So not in a self-watering setup. I tried it, but for me it doesn't work. These orchids really do not enjoy a wet setup if you ask me maybe some are successful with this i believe uh, i'm not sure but i think linda uh, had some in a uh, same hydroponic setup i think that you mentioned it in your comment i don't know that on t uh, from top of my head but anyhow but i don't uh, do that i just have them uh, with a top layer of pebbles the older pebbles that i did use nowadays i use the more gray black ones but um and then i have just the pomace so some large pomace some small pomace i did uh, um, experience and i did try some uh, different uh, medias because you will see other ones are some are in lacquer even but i like this setup the pomace so that's the first one that is one that really needs some time to grow a little bit bigger but who knows it might shoot out a spike but yeah, it has some roots in there as well. So let's move on to the next one. Well, that's one, the opposite. <laughs> Look at this one. This one is really, really growing strong and big. And this one is the one I just mentioned that is spiking, as you can see. So yeah, and this one is in very teeny tiny Lekka and Lava Rock. I did found very tiny Lava Rock as well. It has basically the same color as the Lekka. Maybe you see some difference there. A little fairly round ones like that one just above my nail is an, a piece of lecca and above that that shaped one is a piece of a lava rock teeny tiny but this one is doing very well we see a lot of roots also some going for the wall <laughs> let's zoom in i think this yeah that has, even has a growing tip on there well actually two or maybe even three but on the left you see a very uh, bright one a uh, clear one i should say but anyhow this i have this still as a telomnia hybrid but i did get a suggestion of a fewer um, back in the days about two years ago already it uh, is something peach it has these beautiful peach uh, color blooms that i will show up 
about now and uh, yeah it, it's really uh, does look like uh, the one I will put in the name as well I don't remember on top of my head I should change the tag but I didn't do it yet but as you can see this one is uh, really uh, doing well let's have a look at it from this side and you see the color of the leaves beautiful green I think it's maybe in winter it might get a little bit too dark here but for now I really enjoy the color of the leaves and I will leave them like this for now next to it one that was not doing so well for quite a while maybe uh, it, it yeah it didn't have much roots it really needed some time but it's now shooting out a fairly good new growth so maybe it was not that strong to begin with or it needed quite some adaptation time into my environment but here you can see I used a teeny tiny pumice with some uh, pebbles just to see if that works that works even though this is not a very big Tolumnia it works perfectly so I will uh, from now on only use pumice for these guys as well yeah and this is a beautiful one actually Tom Tolumnia bloody red it's a beautiful uh, reddish blooms and I did uh, bought it back in the days in flower so if I have a picture it will be uh, not so to speak my flower <laughs> but nonetheless it's beautiful and then next to it we have another fairly big one again look at the color of the leaves that's something I really keep my eye on and I think that they are looking quite healthy and we have a new growth there and we have over here a new shoot it is this one this is a new shoot so it's facing the camera a little bit strange but and this is not old as well this is still uh, growing as well so you have even three new growths there and actually this one is also not that old so maybe those will uh, shoot out some beautiful spikes I had this one in bloom this is the Zelin Mina something and I did lose the tag I will have the name in the screen but on top of my head Midas something Midas beautiful yellow one with uh, with the reddish uh, dots on it and that one is also in the uh, tiny leka with uh, lava rocks maybe you already saw it and I even have some pumice on there <laughs> so this one has a mix of everything that is what I did back in the days just to see how they will uh, react to the media that was in uh, when I wasn't sure if I should put them in, uh, in pumice or something so I just put it in a little bit and see how the roots will uh, act and react on it let me go down a bit like this this next one this one is really starting to grow this year you can see the uh, leaves are not that big yet but the color is beautiful and it wasn't a very large orchid to begin with let me zoom in but it has beautiful roots as well as you can see and this one is in the more larger pumice and I think that's a quite a good uh, media actually if I would choose I would now go for the more larger pumice just to keep the air in because the lumnias really like to dry up in between watering so that's what i do with this one as well you can see here the name this is the uh, tolumnia yirek firm maca spots never had, yeah i think yeah i did actually have a bloom in it yeah here's an old spike so i should have a picture i only had one bloom i remember but it was uh, not less beautiful <laughs> and next to it we have this one this one is also starting to get some size to it so they were like uh, more like the the first uh, one we saw and just give them some time and they will start to grow but they are can be quite slow growers but uh, yeah this is really uh, has beautiful new growths here I see three of them and this is the Tolumnia Yirek flyer glues I'm not sure it has a spike here I'm not sure on top of my head if I, if I even had this in bloom myself but if I have a picture you know, at least know how the blooms do look like and this is my uh, last one that I added to the collection let's turn it around a little bit so it has a new growth here and a new growth there and this one does also not have a name tag so I need to look that up 
if I have a name for this one, but you can see this is a fairly new one because here I'm using the pebbles that I nowadays use for all my orchids, the dark grey, and when you wet them they are really good uh, black pebbles that I like uh, personally a bit better. I think it really uh, works with the green on top of the plants. It's a little bit better than the lighter colors, if you ask me. Personal uh, taste here, of course. And again, also in the terracotta pot. Very uh, beautiful, fairly small terracotta pots that I personally very uh, enjoy. I like, really like the look of it. But yeah, self-watering is not really uh, for these guys. So what I do, how I uh, feed them, it's very simple. Actually, they did water them uh, this morning, but uh, I just uh, get a hose. When I normally top up the reservoirs in my plant, these just get a bit of a spray around them and over them in the middle, on the roots. Just a little bit spray uh, of water, and then I see coming water out of the pots, I stop. And that's it for uh, the water with the fertilizer. And in between, so that will be on the Saturdays. I know this is on, on uh, uploaded on a Sunday, but I water them on Wednesdays and on Saturdays. If I do the vendas, so I said most of the times Saturdays, sometimes Sundays, I use the sprayer. This only has our oil water and some seaweed, and I just wet the pot again. But not as much where I see the water coming out of the pot, just to wet it up a little bit. And that is it. So I water them twice a week. I don't take them out of their uh, places where they are uh, located now because some of them, I believe this one, had, has roots coming out of the pot. There's a little hole in the middle and it, they are attached to the this um, sausage, I think you call them. So uh, then I break every time the roots. So that's a little bit uh, ashamed, of course, but I think I can take this one out just to have a better look. Yeah, there we go. So you can see it's fairly dark, the media left there inside of the pot of sausage. There. So that's, uh, then you know it's wet if it's dark. This is uh, more in the light. And this is the actual pot. And let's see, the backdrop was a little bit, yeah, there. We have a, a few roots coming out. And yeah, I think there's a little growing tip on there. <laughs> so yeah, that's why I don't like to move them. But you can see, I think, that I have some larger pumice in there. Anyhow, I really, uh, really like the look of these terracotta pots. So I don't mind having a few of my orchids not in a self-watering setup. But like I said, I will ruin the roots every time I pick it up. So I don't like doing that too much. And this is them uh, basically all together. Beautiful row of telomias. Telomias are just a bit uh, different. Of course, they have their own name, I, know, I get it. But yeah, I don't know. It's just beautiful, tiny orchids. And yeah, they're just doing their thing. You need to be... Uh, get into the water watering schedule for me it's twice a week and it works and that's it but i needed to adjust myself a little bit because i want to uh had i want not say wanted to but i did over water them quite often then i had them to dry so some of them suffered maybe this one suffered and that's why it's uh, losing these bulbs over here i don't remember that's uh well maybe i can take the tag out just have a quick look yeah, 21, so two years, I'm not sure. I have the other ones longer, but anyhow, I nowadays uh, water like uh, I just explained. And they do uh, do fine. They uh, start to bloom whenever they want. And they do their thing. So yeah, once again, uh, Lena, thank you so much for this request. I, uh, I really wanted to do this update. And yeah, I, I, like I said, when we have a close up, they are just so beautiful. They are a bit different than the rest. There's nothing that is very close to them. Maybe a Vanda shape-wise, but it's way bigger. Uh, most cases, uh, these are start, uh, keep very tiny and you will get these beautiful clusters. But uh, uh, if you ask me, fairly slow growers. So if you are recovering them, like I think I am doing with the ones that are not that big yet, they are starting to grow, but it takes several years to get a, a bit of a size to them. But uh, yeah, just 
get that watering into your schedule. Keep on doing it. Don't give them too much fertilizer. You probably know that I don't uh, give my uh, orchids anyhow uh, a much fertilizer. These do not like it at all. So just keep it uh, on the low side. I just keep an eye on them if I don't get any salt builds up on the top of the pot. I don't have it, so I think I have a, uh, a nice schedule going. And they don't like it cold. They really uh, do uh, like it intermediate temperature wise up to warmer. They really do well in summer, especially if you keep them the watering. Don't let them to, to, to get too dry and too wet. So you need a nice balance there. But uh, yeah, if you have that in order, so to speak, they should be uh, doing pretty fine. And yeah, give these beautiful spikes, which are uh, they are can bloom for quite a time actually and that's very nice some orchids do lose their bloom very uh, very quickly if you ask me after uh, several weeks but these uh, can be here for uh, for a few months actually so two months maybe some even th up to three months but uh, yeah if they are happy they uh, will bloom for quite a while plus the spice can branch out so don't cut them off too quickly if the tip starts to dry off and you want to have more blooms just cut that part off and like a family opsis they might uh, shoot out again which is pretty awesome i think anyhow this is an update on my tulumnias as usual if you have any questions or suggestions please leave them in the comments comment section below i really enjoy making these videos and of course, uh, if you didn't already have, you might consider subscribing and giving this uh, video a thumbs up would be awesome as well. So for now, thank you so much for watching and I really hope to see you at one of my next uh, videos. Bye bye.